as probably many people, I wondered how the brain may work. And then I started to read. And um, then it's quite obvious that the function that the brain uh, brings about is in the communication between the nerve cells. And um, as a physicist, what you do is you try to formalize this um, into a model. And the, the nature of the model is so complex that you then require simulation, and simulation requires software. Our brain is a gigantic network of billions of nerve cells. Using computer simulations, scientists try to understand how it processes and stores information. The software NEST, short for Neural Simulation Tool, allows the reconstruction of the structure and activity of highly complex networks. NEST was developed to investigate the dynamics of large networks principally, so networks where you can really um, represent biologically realistic levels of connectivity, so where each neuron can get thousands of connections and makes thousands of connections to other neurons. Before the foundation for NEST was laid in 1994, each scientist had to write his or her own simulation software, a highly time-consuming and labour-intensive task. I guess I must have been one of the first users outside of their own groups and it was a bit of a steep learning curve, but it certainly was extremely helpful uh, that I could use a simulator that worked and uh, had just had to make my own little extensions, but I could really focus on the science then instead of having to write a complete simulator myself. The software grew in a continual process. This turned out to be a big advantage. Because we had to do our research with NEST, um, it was clear that we only could implement whatever we needed right now for our research. When we moved on from being students to being supervisors of students, we basically, without knowing, followed the same policy. And by this, we, from the beginning, trained users to be developers and developers to be users. The simulation software NEST is highly flexible and allows researchers to adapt it to their individual needs. I'm working on a model of the visual cortex of the macaque monkey, where we aim to incorporate all areas that are relevant for visual processing. We uh, try to connect these areas up in a realistic manner using um, anatomical data. Data can be generated that is comparable to experimentally gained results. This allows a very close interaction between theoretical and experimental approaches. So far, more than 40 scientists have contributed to the software, and steadily new developers are joining in. We try to spread uh, NEST among, uh, sorry, in a general, more general public, um, use it in summer schools as a teaching tool, and that has been uh, both enriching and challenging experience. It was uh, quite amazing what students all did that we had never thought about before. My scientific project is deep brain stimulation for patients with Parkinson's disease. Therefore, we uh, have built a three-dimensional model with a nest and um, this model enables us to um, simulate deep brain stimulation in a more realistic way. We are especially interested in how the um, synaptic structure within the stimulation target can be reshaped by stimulation. In order to live up to its full potential, the software must also run efficiently on supercomputers. In this respect, the Forschungszentrum Jülich plays a vital role. On a supercomputer there are much more processors available and these will have to communicate, which means that the software needs to be much more efficient uh, in terms of communication and not just in terms of running running the simulations on the processors. From 2013 onwards, a special simulation laboratory neuroscience in Ulich will support neuroscientists to better exploit the power of supercomputers, something that will become even more important for future research. We have two interesting uh, developments right now. And one is that um, now the data on the macroscopic uh, anatomy of the brain are rapidly coming in. And the um, other development is that the supercomputers are now powerful enough to represent large parts of the brain. And in order to exploit both of this, we are now extending the topology library of, of NEST um, so that we are 
able in an efficient way to um, create these, these networks in, in a computer. Nest, which arose from a student's project almost 20 years ago, has since then developed tremendously. With each new scientific question, the program's capacity itself grows. And in the future, this valuable tool will continue to support researchers to decipher the secrets of the brain.